DJ Screw, born Robert Earl Davis, Jr., was an American hip-hop DJ and producer from Houston, Texas. He was born on July 20, 1971, and raised in the South Acres neighborhood of Houston. DJ Screw began his music career in the early 1990s and quickly gained a reputation in the Houston hip-hop scene for his unique style of slowing down the tempo of songs. He would often use a technique called chopping to manipulate the beats of songs, slowing them down and repeating certain phrases. This technique, which he called screwing, became synonymous with his name and would go on to influence the sound of Southern hip-hop. In 1991, DJ Screw started his own record label, Screwed Up Records and Tapes, which he used to release his own music and that of other artists he worked with. He also began to host regular Screwed Up Click Rap sessions, where local rappers would gather to freestyle and perform over his screwed beats. These sessions were taped and released as screw tapes, which sold well in the local area and helped to spread his fame. DJ Screw's popularity continued to grow in the mid-1990s, and he began to tour and perform across the United States. However, he died on November 16, 2000 of a codeine overdose at the age of 29. Despite his early death, DJ Screw left a lasting impact on the music industry and is considered a pioneer of the southern hip-hop sound. Following his death, his music has continued to be released, and many artists have cited him as an influence on their work. His legacy continued being a major influence in the rap and hip-hop culture, in particular the southern rap scene. The Screwed Up Click, also known as the SUC, was a group of hip-hop artists and DJs from Houston, Texas, who were associated with DJ Screw and his record label, Screwed Up Records and Tapes. The group was known for its distinctive screwed sound, characterized by slowed-down beats and manipulated vocals. The group had various members through the years, and the exact number is hard to tell. However, some of the most notable members of the SUC include Big Mo, a singer-songwriter and rapper who was a close associate of DJ Screw and one of the first members of the SUC. Lil Kiki, a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is considered one of the pioneers of the southern hip-hop sound. Zero, a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is known for his introspective and personal lyrics. Big Hawk, a rapper and member of the SUC who was shot and killed in 2006, but left behind a legacy of music. Fat Pad, a rapper and member of the SUC who had success in the 1990s and was shot and killed in 1998. Lil Flip, a rapper and member of the SU.C who had a successful solo career and known for his hit single The Way We Ball. Big Pokey, a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is known for his collaborations with DJ Screw. Youngstar, a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is known for his hit single Knockin' Pictures Off the Wall. Lil O, a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is known for his hit single Back Back. Keep in mind that this is not an exhaustive list and there were many other artists that have been associated with the group at some point, as well as many regional artists that never officially joined the group but were deeply influenced by DJ Screw and his sound. Big Mo, born Marvis D. Davis, Big Mo was a singer-songwriter and rapper who was a close associate of DJ Screw and one of the first members of the SUC. He was known for his soulful singing style and often sang the hooks on SUC songs. Big Mo released his debut album, City of Syrup, in 2000, which was produced by DJ Screw. He also released several other albums, singles, and mixtapes following the success of City of Syrup. He passed away on October 14, 2007, due to complications from a stroke. Lil Kiki, born Marcus Lockie Edwards, Lil Kiki is a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is considered one of the pioneers of the southern hip-hop sound. He started his career in the 90s and had several independent albums released under the screwed-up clicks. He is considered one of the most successful and prominent artists to come out of the screwed-up click movement. 
He is known for his smooth flow and clever wordplay. He continues to release music and collaborate with other artists. Zero, born Joseph Wayne McVeigh IV, Zero is a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is known for his introspective and personal lyrics. He started his career in the mid-90s and has released numerous albums and mixtapes over the years. He's also known for his collaborations with other Southern artists and for his independent spirit. He's considered to be one of the most consistent and respected artists to come out of the screwed-up click movement. Big Hawk, born John Edward Hawkins, Big Hawk was a rapper and member of the SUC. He was known for his charismatic flow and ability to ride the beats of DJ Screw's slowed-down production. He released several solo albums and was featured in several mixtapes and collaborations. He had a big impact on the southern hip-hop scene, but his career was cut short when he was shot and killed on May 1st, 2006. Fat Pat, born Patrick Lamont Hawkins, Fat Pat was a rapper and member of the SUC who had success in the 1990s. He had one of the most successful solo careers among the SUC members. He released an album called Ghetto Dreams, which include the hit single Tops Drop. Unfortunately, his career was cut short when he was shot and killed on February 3rd, 1998. Lil Flip, born Wesley Eric Weston Jr., Lil Flip is a rapper and member of the SU.C who had a successful solo career. He started releasing independent albums in late 90s and early 2000s. In the mid-2000s, he signed to major label and released the successful album You Gotta Feel Me, which included the hit single The Way We Ball. He was known for his clever wordplay and his southern drawl. He continues to release music and work with other artists. Big Pokey, born Derek L. Bennett, Big Pokey is a rapper and member of the SUC who has released several solo albums and is known for his collaborations with DJ Screw. He first began recording music in the late 90s and early 2000s and has released many albums and mixtapes over the years under his own name and screwed up click. He's considered one of the most respected artists. DJ Screw's discography consists mainly of mixtape tapes, which were widely distributed across the southern United States during his lifetime and after. Here's a list of some of his most notable tapes. 3 in the Morning, Part 1 This was DJ Screw's debut release, and it was recorded in the early 1990s. The tape features Screw's signature sound of slowed-down beats and manipulated vocals, as well as appearances from other members of the SUC such as Big Mo, Lil Kiki, and Zero. June 27th, this tape is widely considered one of DJ Screw's classic releases and is named after his birthday. The tape features appearances from many of the SUC members, including Big Mo, Lil Kiki, and Zero. The Legend, this tape is a tribute to the fallen members of the SUC such as Fat Pat and Big Hawk. The tape features appearances from many of the remaining members of the SUC, as well as new artists from the Houston hip-hop scene. All Work No Play, this is a series of tapes that DJ Screw released in the late 1990s, featuring slowed-down versions of popular songs at the time, often featuring guest verses from different artists. The series also include different volumes and variations. The final chapter, this tape was recorded shortly before DJ Screw's death and was released posthumously. The tape features appearances from many of the SUC members, as well as new artists from the Houston hip-hop scene. SUC Mixtapes, this is a series of tapes that DJ Screw released under the Screwed Up Click, SUC label featuring appearances from many of the SUC members as well as new artists from the Houston hip hop scene, often featuring new music and exclusive tracks. Additionally to the tapes, there are some of his albums, those were posthumously released, such as All Screwed Up and The Ultimate Screw, which features various tracks from his tapes along with some unreleased songs. It's worth mentioning that since his death, Many other artists have also released tapes and albums in the Screwed style, and many of them also included tracks from DJ Screw's tapes, as well as new tracks that are inspired by his music. 
However, the ones I've listed above are some of DJ Screw's original and most well-known tapes.